Gonna be trying out the JTS shotgun. Take Sega mags. I got these that only hold two. I push them down. Can't fit another one in there. This is one and one fourth six shot bird shot. Hopefully it'll cycle. If not, it'll just be a cool looking single shot. They don't want to feed on the last one. Maybe the heavy six shot was not the best plan. It was a lot of fun hunting birds with the JTS shotgun AK. I want to do a little recap before I close up the video. It was me, my dad, his friend, and my dad's friend's son, he's, you know, like in grade school, he was cameraman, you know, that was his responsibility, uh, he got some really good shots, like the first one, um, essentially we walk in a row, I'm walking in the middle, that's the first, um, I, I forget which bird, if that was a pheasant or a chucker, but, uh, essentially, I, I don't see it, the dog sees it, and it, like, because it's still, like, a puppy, like, a year and a half, it pounces on it, and it flies, instead of, like, you know, pointing it, and then scaring it, going that direction ahead of us, it went over my head, so I, Shotgun turn first shot, hit that bird. It's fun. And then my dad wanted to try the shotgun. I'm like, no, because it wasn't cycling reliably. Um, the first shot would go off no issue. So as far as hunting, if I make that first shot, it's no big deal. The follow-up shots may or may not go into battery. Uh, I showed it in one of the clips how it would just kind of get snagged and stay like that. And all you have to do is push it forward and then you're good to go. But still, uh, the advantages of bringing one of these instead of your conventional pump action is... Um, faster follow-up shots when it does cycle and recoil much more mild. Just using high brass bird shots, so you know not the most powerful stuff up there, but um, it can affect you after a lot of shots. But this thing is heavy. That's that's the, the downfall of this. It's heavy and the reloads are slow. I know people are gonna comment like, "Oh, you can reload these, you know, very efficiently. You just need to practice." But it, it's it's really not happening because I can't really do it reliably. I'll go show you. It is currently empty. This is the magazine that came with it. These, um, what is it? the magazine design is slightly different. The slip and the back are slightly larger than those. So, again, I can essentially hold this tab down and it locks in nicely, but I really can't do that quickly without like visually looking at the tab and doing it. So instead, um, I grab it from the base and force it in there from the base. And that time you don't really want to go. And last time, that time it locked in. And you're good to go. Next time I go to shoot it, uh, I'll probably be using buckshot, you know, something more substantial, help it cycle. I have these five routers that came with it. I can order some more, you know, I have the 10 round magazine. That's a pro mag. So again, cycling issues can be attributed to the magazine, but I'll try using the ones that came with the shotgun. But it's fun. It was cool. I'll be bringing it back out. I could even take this deer hunting uh, next year because I could add uh, a section here in the back for for a red dot and magnifier. You know, you, you got to do different things. I can't bring out the same um, Winchester 1300 season after season. I brought that out, you know, for years and years. And that last uh, time I went for bird hunting, went with the 410 shotgun. That was a challenge. And this was a challenge as far as, like, uh, being aware of, of is it in battery. You know, just more, more stuff like that. And it doesn't have any uh, studs or anything to add a sling. That is another downfall. If I want to add a sling, I need to switch some stuff on it. But yeah, that is it. 500 bucks was not a bad deal. And we're going to bring it back out. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching.